Hey guys, Crisis here, and today in this video I'm going to talk to you guys about different versions of Stalker. In this, in this video I'm going to talk about Stalker Anomaly, the vanilla one, Stalker Area, Stalker Gamma, Stalker Escape from Pripyat version 3, and Stalker Expedition. So, without further ado, let's get into the video, shall we? So to start, we have Stalker Area. In Stalker Area, the biggest change you can see right off the bat is, you can see, you it's the first Stalker, you can actually see your character model, which is pretty cool. You can just move around, do some parkour, and watch all, all your crazy movement, all your hands go up and everything. So it's actually a big change that I think it's appreciated. Although it can cause a bit of problems with you seeing your body getting stuck and all of that. I think it's a it's a cool change and I did like it quite a bit. One other thing that I really like about Stalker Area is it changed it changes some maps. My favorite is probably garbage. Garbage in this game looks completely different. Once you step into the map, you're gonna see a lot of changes already. You got new quests, new zones, like uh, the first quest I took here was to kill some bandits in a specific zone. And that itself was a lot of fun and a lot of difference. More than that, uh, the, 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 big, the big building in Garbage where you can go talk to Hunter and sell mutant parts and buy parts, in this version, the bandits hold that building. So if you want to talk to Hunter, you first have to clear all the bandits. I just found that that, that was really really well done and it uh, gives you a different experience if you play the other stalkers which is all, always welcome here one other big difference is probably the combat so here in area what happens is uh, even if you're sneaking on a, a squad and they don't see you the game will consider that you're in combat and once you're in combat you cannot save the game the game will say oh it's uh, you're in the middle of something big you cannot write your save point uh, basically telling you you're in this fight uh, you have to end this fight uh, kill all of them or else you're not going to be able to save the game now, at the beginning, when uh, this happened to me, uh, it got me, it gets me a bit frustrated, especially since you know how stalker AI is, right? You do one si single mistake, bam, you're dead. So if you go and face uh, like in this quest where you have to kill a squad of five bandits, I have to kill all five of them without saving, so it has to be back to back, or else, uh, well, I just don't complete the quest. It took me like five, six tries for me to do this because beginnings uh, gear and everything, right? But when you actually m do it and make it, you know, it's it really like uh, helps you a lot, you know. This is for the people that have five warriors, right? For you, those of you that play with the campfire safe, yeah, you're not gonna feel much difference because it's the same thing. But for me that I used to press F5 after every single kill, this was a major difference and. Uh, yeah, it uh, made me it made me feel accomplished when I was able to complete uh, uh, the fight successfully. After you can after you kill all your enemies, uh, one good thing about Stalker Area is you can open your inventory and you're out, you're gonna have your backpack. So you won't have a lot of space. But the good thing about this backpack function is you can put a lot of guns, a lot of uh, everything you find in, in the raid and your journey, you can put in your backpack. Your backpack also has a limit. But And uh, what happens in this game is if you're really full, uh, your, guy, your guy will drop the weapon. It, it'll, it won't just equip and be like, oh, you're overweight, you can't move or you move with reduced speed. No, you got, your guy will just drop it. So what, what you have to do is, if you don't have space, it's not just like, I'll put it on this space or anything. No, your guy will just drop it. So use your backpack as much as you can to put everything in it. Because things that you put on your backpack does not count as the weight of your character. So you can have a lot of weight on you. If you put all that weight in your backpack and your guy doesn't have anything on his inventory, you will still be light and you'll still be able to sprint a lot. So now we have the other big change, and the and the is is the quest. So in Stalker area, you actually have a limit to the quest. And when I say limit, I don't mean like you can only take five or six quests. No, what I mean is you have a limit to complete this quest. Yes, you heard me right. When you take a quest now, the the NPC which you took took a quest will say you have three days or five or six 
to complete this thing that I'm asking you. So, this is a big difference because in the older Stalker games and the other versions, you don't have a time limit to complete the quest. So every single quest you encounter, if you do it like me, I accept every quest and then I do it when I can do it, you know? In this game, not at all. If a guy tells you, you have to deliver a package or get me something and you have three days to do it, if those three days pass, your quest will fail. So you have to pay attention and actually plan out... Uh, uh, your adventure to see if you're gonna be able to complete uh, all these objectives in the days that the, the person asks you for. One other thing that I would advise you guys is in this game there's actually uh, items radiation. So to to explain this is if a guy asks you to give him uh, a can of Tachanka and you go to an area that is radiated like for example where I am on the swamps I go to the water that is radiated the quest the uh, the items in your backpack and in you will become irradiated. This actually screwed me up a big time because I got a quest the uh, an item that was really hard to find, but my feet touched a bit, uh, splashed a bit uh, in the water, and the item became radiated. And then the guy that wanted the item didn't want it anymore because it, it says it was full of rats and he doesn't want to get sick or something. I don't know. So he just said uh, he didn't give me anything. So pay attention. I would advise you to go to the options and disable item irradiation. This will help you a lot and, and uh, reduce the frustration you'll get. Moving on, we have Stalker Expedition and Stalker Anomaly. Why would, uh, do I want to put Stalker Anomaly Vanilla and Stalker Expedition here together? Well, it's pretty easy. Stalker Expedition doesn't change anything from Stalker Vanilla except really good graphics adding new and adding new guns. I joke you not, when I was playing Stalker Expedition, I got really surprised because I think up to date this is the best version of Stalker uh, in terms of graphics. This game in terms of graphics feels unreal, it's like you're playing a different version from vanilla. But I like it to, uh, to be with vanilla because this game f plays exactly like vanilla. When you saw Stalker area, me explaining Stalker area, you saw a lot of changes. Expedition doesn't do any changes. It, it's a graphic overall uh, and adds more guns. That's pretty much it. It doesn't do anything else. You're, it's pretty much like playing Vanilla Stalker but on steroids. That's pretty much it. Or on weed if you're a freedom uh, enjoyer. <laughs> Let's just put it like that. So I think if you... What limits people from playing Stalker Expedition is the PC. So I would suggest you go to Modb where you get all the add-ons from Stalker, and have a look at requirements for an expedition. If your PC meets the requirements for an expedition, go ahead and try this beautiful uh, overhaul. Uh, I will uh, say, yeah, you will be amazed uh, how, how the graphics really work here. Next up, we have Stalker Gamma. Now, Stalker Gamma is w one of my favorite versions of Stalker. Simply because, well, let's just say it has some pretty good graphics, it adds a bunch of weapons like Stalker Expedition, but it also does some modifications to Vanilla that uh, I think are really good and uh, it fits well here. Mainly uh, it adds like a, kind of an escape from Tarkov uh, HP system where you can see on the bottom left where you have like HP bars for every single one of your limbs. So what this means is, if you go against a mutant, you'll most likely go for your legs. Damaging your legs will make you move slower, and if you try to sprint, you will take damage. This will require you to buy a lot of stems, uh, painkillers, and uh, all of this so you can heal your limbs. It makes it be more realistic. Besides that, st Stalker Gamma has one thing that uh, differentiates, uh, differentiates uh, this version of the game uh, from the other ones. And this is, you cannot uh, get the gear just from buying it. Sounds confusing? Hold on, let me uh, explain uh, more in detail then. So in this version of the game, 
in, in uh, order for you to get like the biggest backpack, the best backpack, or get all your uh, Veilis detector, bear detectors, all your good night vision and everything, you need to craft gear. Yes, there's no buying it, it doesn't matter how much reputation or money you have, but the vendor will not have these items. So what this forces you is to take apart, uh, for example, uh, detectors that you're not using and get parts so you can craft them. So you can get, uh, th this means getting all the detectors, uh, everything electronic that you find in your raids that might have no value and sell for less. Get a multi tool from the, the technicians and uh, just destroy these items so you can get all the parts so you can craft all the goodies. You'll find uh, all these items when you're killing other stalkers, looting caches, whatever you're doing. These are not hard to find. When I first was confronted with this, I thought I was going to have a really hard time just getting a normal detector, you know? Or maybe getting, like, a medium backpack because, you know, stalker, you pretty much want to loot everything. So space is a big deal. But once I learned you can just like the uh, multi-tool on armors and on guns and get the parts to craft uh, all the gear you need. This was actually a really good experience and I liked this difference. It, it, it looked like it was going to be a big difficulty, but uh, at the end uh, it was so good uh, that uh, to be honest it's one of my favorite features. And now when I play another version of Stalker I always miss this, you know, and come back to Gamma, so I feel like a, a real scavenger, just taking every single bit of junk that I can get, you know, and using these parts. Uh, money doesn't buy everything in this version. You need to be a complete scavenger and get in everything you can, and for me, that is really good. So much that when you go to the vendor, the only things that you will sell as you upgrade your reputation is more ammo and mods for the guns. And uh, like uh, some plates to protect you or some other things to carry and give you more stamina. This is the best the vendor will get. More ammo, more m modifications and that's about it. That's why at the end of this version I ended up with a lot of money. Like I mean a lot of money. So you might be asking, but Crisis, but a Stalker is already so hard. If you can't buy any armor, anything, how are you going to make this actually work? How is the early aim not going to be like absolutely horrendous? Well, Gamma does something different that is, even if you're playing on hard and survivalist, you can pick a gun, armor, and even a respirator. Yes, so you don't start really badly geared. Now, of course, this is going to be a difficulty because... This, game, uh, this version pretty much says, like, you have to go kill stalkers, you have to get RNG luck to get a good armor, and then when you get a good armor, you're not just like, oh, it's 20%, it's broken, it's just going to the garbage. No, that armor is good, I'm gonna keep it, and the money I can get, uh, instead of buying a new armor, I will do it to repair it, or myself, like I said, loot other stalkers' gear, Use the multi tool to get the parts, and I myself will repair it. Again, this game, uh, this version feels uh, makes you feel like a real scavenger, and I have to say, I really love it. It's one of my favorite things about the game. And finally, we have Escape from Pripyat version three that is out right now. So, what makes, uh, what's the difference between uh, Escape from Pripyat and all the other stuff? Well. This is a bit like Stalker Gamma. You have the, like the, the HP from the limbs, like in the bottom left, like we saw on the other t on the other uh, on the other version. But this one has a huge difference in terms of HP. So this is actually like Escape from Tarkov. As you can see, when you go to the medic, it has the same healing. You have the SMS kit, the survival. You have the splints uh, that go for the ends, other splints that go for the legs, and you have like the pills and the medication for Stalker Gamma. But this one has more development in terms of HP. So in this one, you can take pills, but pills won't like fix your legs. You need to buy an SMS kit, a survival kit, uh, or splints. Besides these uh, changes in terms of buying medical supplies, you also have the famous uh, uh, magazines. Yes, in this version, it doesn't just matter you having ammo. You have to also have magazines, put the ammo in the magazines, and add them to your loadout. 
this is one of the uh, the changes that really uh, changes Xcape from PPI for all the versions and uh, and Stalker. More, I think more versions of Stalker are having all uh, this uh, this thing about adding magazines. For for now, Xcape from PPI, in my knowledge, is the only one that has this. Of course, this stage changes a bit because. You have to keep it's not just like uh, if you're uh, in a big fight and you are only have two magazines and you run out of the two magazines that's it it doesn't matter if you have ammo you don't have the ammo to put on the magazine the other magazines are empty and you're pretty much dead because it still takes time to reload the magazines and besides besides these change in terms of the medical supplies and the magazines there's no much different from stalker the vanilla stalker uh, anomaly. This feels like Stalker, but with a few uh, mechanics from Escape from uh, Tarkov. So uh, you're gonna see if you play uh, EFT uh, Escape from Tarkov, you're gonna see some uh, resemblance to uh, uh, to some icons. But besides that, this don't worry. This is still a Stalker game, so you're not gonna feel that much difference. Now that we talked about all all these versions of Stalker, let me just uh, put a bit of resolution here in the end. So, which one is why I think you should start it, uh, start with and end it, and which I think it's easier, harder, and all that stuff. So, <coughs> of course, if you don't have that much of a bigger PC, you know, that good a PC, I would suggest you start with Stalker Anomaly Vanilla. If you're new to Stalker Series 2. If you have a, uh, a good PC and you think you can run Stalker Expedition, even if you're new to Stalker, I would say try Expedition. Because, again, as we said, Expedition doesn't change anything about vanilla except good graphics and more guns. After that, I would I would suggest you go with either Stalker, Gamma, or uh, Escape from Pripyat, the last, ver the last version, version 3. Mainly because these two games... Don't do a lot of changes uh, to Stalker. Uh, again, the big changes was the Stalker Gamma makes it so you have to be more of a... The big change is, is that you have to be more of a scavenger and craft your own gear. And have the addition of uh, HP to limbs. And, st and uh, Escape from Pripyat is a bit more Escape from Tarkov, but does a big more uh, bigger changes to the medical supplies how you fix your limbs and everything uh, and adds the magazines but again these aren't that much it's changes that make the game more realistic and yes up the difficulty but to be quite honest if you want to go with a, it looks a bit more like stalker and is a, a bit more the same i would go with escape from Pripyat, and uh, then i would go to stalker gamma because it makes you have a different kind of gameplay, like of uh, taking every single bit of junk, uh, buying that multi-tool so you can get the parts and all of that. And it's still a big difference, uh, let me tell you. For me, at least, it was a big difference, me looting everything and having to craft everything. Because I had that mentality of doing a lot of quests, getting a lot of money and just buying my stuff. And finally, I will end it up with Stalker Area. So, area for me is what feels like the most different version of all the Stalkers. You're going to feel a big difference when you play this one. Because even on difficulty, I think this one is the hardest version of Stalker. Uh, just uh, getting the, uh, get, having a time to complete every single quest, having to see where you have to go, having to just coordinate which areas you have to go so you can make it in time to complete the quest, getting armor, getting weapons is a lot harder. You need to go to a certain trader to get armor. It's just, uh, it's just a lot of stuff and there's a lot of changes. Again, after you tried all of these versions of Stalker, I would say, try stalker areas the last do not begin with stalker area because i think it's too different they might get you too frustrated and make you not like stalker and that's one of the things i don't like if you have time and uh, you feel like you want to try it I, I do think give it a try at the end i did like it but it took me many tries for me to uh, actually enjoy it so uh, just take the game easy and try to enjoy it every single bit you can Alright guys, and uh, with that we end uh, talking about uh, some of the versions of Stalker. Yes, I do know that there's a lot more versions, but for nowadays, right now, these are the the versions that I see that most people play 
right now. Uh, of course, I might have like missed some informations about some versions. Um, more like I missed something about area because, as I said, uh, I did play area till the end, uh, and it was a bit rough on me. And uh, I think it's the version of Stalker that is more different and I haven't feel fully explored it yet. Right now I'm playing Gamma and uh, Escape from Pripyat since the, the new, uh, these are the new versions of Stalker. And uh, Escape from Pripyat version 3 just came out not too long ago. So I'm still trying to see what the big changes on that one is. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is uh, still one of my first videos that I'm doing, so I would appreciate any feedback that you guys uh, want to give me. So if you feel like there's something I should have done better, if there's any information I'm missing, please comment below and let me know. And yeah, also let me know if you guys want to know, want me to make more videos about Stalker, if there's something that you need uh, some assistance or require some support, and I'll try my best to do it. So until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, Stalkers. I'll see you in the zone.